Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today we pay special tribute to Mass Sergeant Brian R. Sanchez on the occasion of his retirement from the United States Air Force. Throughout the ceremony, you will begin giving cues to stand or be seated at the appropriate times. As a reminder, during the national anthem, military members should stand at attention and civilian guests should place their right hand over their heart. We're honored to have with us as our presiding officer for today's ceremony, Major Gregory Green, commander of the 152nd Communications Flight. Sharing the special occasion today are many family and friends, senior officers, and fellow airmen. We are extremely honored to have in attendance Mass Sergeant Sanchez's family, which includes his spouse, Tina Sanchez, his son, Brian Sanchez, Jr., and his friends to the family, Todd Sampson, Matt Sampson, Chelsea Osborne, Cy Clarkson, and Dolores Clarkson. Mass Sergeant Brian Sanchez would also like to welcome our special guests, Chief Mass Sergeant Krasina, uh, Command Chief, 152nd Air Wing, and Chief Mass Sergeant Bill Shy, Superintendent, 152nd Mission Support Group, and Chief Mass Sergeant William Moore of the Arizona National Guard. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the entrance of the official party and remain standing for the playing of the national anthem, followed by the invocation given by Chaplain Gilliam. <laughs> Thank you for today. Um, actually, thank you for this weekend. There's a lot of stuff going on, but even in the midst of our business as a unit, uh, you still remain faithful. You still remain the same. You still remain close by us. And uh, I pray those exact things over Sergeant Sanchez as he uh, gets ready to retire. Um, thank you for thank you for giving him the skills and ability uh, to to serve his country for so long uh, that he would make it to retirement. This is a uh, it's a very special day, I'm sure, for his family and for himself. And uh, I just pray that, uh, even though I'm sure it's bittersweet, uh, that that same steadfastness that you show, that you continue to show us, that you would be with him and his family as they uh, look at what it looks like uh, to transition uh, from military service to holy moly. Now I'm a civilian. Um, God be with him, be with his family, and uh, remain close by him. It's in your precious name that I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Chaplain Gillian. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. It is now my distinct pleasure to introduce to you the presiding official of today's ceremony, Major Gregory Green. First of all, I just want to thank everyone for being here and uh, thank you, Brian, specifically for this honor. I really appreciate it. Thank you, sir. A uh, little bit about Brian's career. Uh, way, way back in 1990, uh, he came out of Denver, Colorado, went to uh, join the U.S. Marine Corps, went to Camp Pendleton, uh, went to basic training there, and one of the highlights I saw with that was uh, he got 100% on his PT score, which in the Marines is, is no joke, right? So 17.15, I think he did, for three miles, which I had to do the math on that. It was like five minutes and 40 seconds per mile. I think that's pretty amazing. Um, so that was his first, you know, set forth into the, the military there. He came out of there, uh, went to 29 Palms, which we're all familiar with that lovely place. Uh, went to communications school. You know, got his first communications background set there. 
uh, was there you know, for a few months uh, before his first duty station in Okinawa. Now, uh, before he departed for Okinawa, he couldn't take or he couldn't wait to take his his uh, love of his life, you know, with him. So he took a little ten day leave there and went back to Denver and got married. So I uh, took that, uh, and went to Okinawa, and uh, spent a year there uh, doing communications in Okinawa, and came back after that to Barstow. Bar Barstow. 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 The Marine Corps Logistics Base. Marine Corps Logistics and did communications there for three years. It sounds like that was a busy three years there. Uh, went promoted to corporal. Um, the big accomplishment was the uh, birth of his son, Ryan Jr. Uh, and, and did communications there for about three years before coming up to the Marine Corps Mountain Warfare uh, Training Center here in Nevada. So there he got to do survival training. He uh, got promoted to sergeant. Uh, you know, for a couple of years there before he kind of saw the light, we like to say, right? And came into the Nevada Air National Guard. Uh, back in 1998 is when he joined. So he came to communications flight, was a communications specialist, um, was a supervisor, was first sergeant, and now is the branch chief that everyone knows. At the same time, in his full-time duty, he was uh, the deputy uh, Douglas, uh, see if I can get the title right. The Douglas County Deputy Sheriff, Sheriff Deputy. Yes, sir. <laughs> Got it. Um, but he was uh, assigned to um, a canine with a narcotic canine, actually. The dog's name, I think, was Lucy. 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 Yeah, I know that means a lot to, to those who do that. Um, did that uh, full time, uh, part of the um, Special Tactics and Training Unit there in the uh, Traffic Division. Yes, sir. Um, and that's kind of where we wrap up and, and you know, that's kind of his outstanding 30, almost 30 years of service, right? And, you know, just in the short time that I've known him, there's kind of two things that stand out to me about Brian. Uh, first thing is dedication, right? Dedication to two main things. One, family. Everyone who knows Brian knows that, okay? I mean, it's just comes out of you everywhere you are, that you are a family man and that's where your focus is and I love that. Um, second thing, as far as dedication, is dedication to your country. Um, that is, you know, being, you know, spending that much time in the military alone, you would say, okay, a person is obviously dedicated to your country, but I know from knowing you that you love our country, you love our way of life and you're willing to defend it and that's a good example for everyone. Um, the second thing is the gratitude that you've shown. Uh, that's, it's been amazing really. The, the gratitude as far as when the flight has been in tough positions, you've always been one to step up and come in whenever we've asked you during our most difficult projects, you know, the migrations, the upgrades that we've done to the network here. Never one complaint. I've never heard one complaint come out of his mouth, not once. And it's, it's all about taking care of the, the mission, taking care of the people, and getting the work done. And with, with a smile and an attitude of gratitude. And that has amazed me since I've known you. So with that. Thank you, Major Green. Would Mass Sergeant Sanchez please come forward and join Major Green for the presentation of the Meritorious Service Medal. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand and remain standing for the presentation of the medal and the reading of the retirement order. Attention orders. Citation, citation to accompany the award of the Meritorious Service Medal. Master and Brian R. Santa, Sanchez distinguished himself in the performance of outstanding service in the United States while assigned to the 152nd Communications Flight, 152nd Mission Support Group, 152nd Airlift Wing, Nevada Air National Guard, Reno, Nevada. During this period, the outstanding professional skill, leadership, and ceaseless efforts of Sergeant Sanchez resulted in major contributions to the effectiveness and success of the plans and programs branch. Sergeant Sanchez led an 11 member team in managing 27 cyber projects, strengthening the capabilities of the base while enhancing a $21 million network. Additionally, he moved multiple installation and cybersecurity initiatives. <clears throat> 
His team's effort drove a major $1.5 million network and modernization information technology package through design and configuration, which impacted 45 critical nodes throughout the installation, enhancing the strategic capabilities of the wing. Furthermore, Sergeant Sanchez was vital to the advancing the network security posture. He led 27 airmen through the base's first risk management framework process, validating 3,200 information assurance control on two networks. Their efforts identified and reduced 2,600 security technical implementation <clears throat> guides securing 37.2 terabytes of mission data. Finally, his dedication to the mission made him a trusted advisor to leadership and the airmen of the unit. The singularly distinctive accomplishments of Sergeant Sanchez could culminate a distinct, distinguished career in the service of his country and flip, reflect great credit upon himself, the Air National Guard, and the United States Air Force. Major Green will now direct the publishing of the retirement order. Publish the order. Attention to orders. Mass Sergeant Brian R. Sanchez is relieved from current assignment, assigned to the retired reserve section, and placed on the United States Air Force retired list, effective 13 June 2019. Sanchez, we are also pleased to present you with the Presidential Certificate of Appreciation, which reads, I extend to you my personal thanks and the sincere appreciation of our grateful nation for your contribution of honorable service to our country. You have helped maintain the security of the nation during a critical time in its history with the devotion to a duty and a spirit of sacrifice in keeping with the proud traditions of the military service. I trust that in the coming years, you will maintain an active interest in the armed forces and the purpose for which you served. Those who followed in your footsteps will draw inspiration from your commitment, dedication, and sacrifices to ensure the protection of the American freedoms. My best wishes to you for the happiness and success in your future. At this time, we would like to invite Tina Sanchez to please come forward for the retirement pen presentation. The retirement pin is presented at the retirement ceremony to sign signify membership in an elite organization of men and women that have served the United States Air Force in their country with pride, honor, and distinction in wartime and peace. We would now like to present Ms. Sanchez with a certificate of appreciation from the Chief of Staff, United States Air Force, and the Director of the Air National Guard. It reads, in grateful appreciation, the United States Air Force presents the certificate of recognition to Cena, Tina Sanchez for the commitment and numerous contributions that made positive impacts to the nation's defense. Thank you for your support, which gave strength and purpose to your spouse's service, given this 13th day of June, 2019. Thank you, Mrs. Sanchez. You may be seated. At this time, Chief 
Krizina will present the Nevada Air National Guard mirror to Massarn Sanchez. Uh, mixed emotions for me. Yeah. <laughs> so, on behalf of the men and women, women of the 1 2nd second aeroplane, I'd like to present to you the, the famous high roller mirror that goes with uh, the great service and you know, everything you've done to the organization and for the organization. So, uh, on behalf of my boss, um, hang it proud. I will, sir. All right. Thank you, Thank Chief. You. Thank you, Chief. Senior Mass Sergeant Treg Jackson will now present Mass Sergeant Sanchez with the state flag. So I know it's not necessarily normal, but I wanted to make sure that you had a demonstration of your dedication to law enforcement and to the Guard with the state flag that you served under for both. It was going on Memorial Day, and I hope that you put in the proud Thank you. Thank you, Senior Officer Jackson. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present to you, for the first time, <clears throat> Mass Sergeant Brian R. Sanchez, United States Air Force, retired. <laughs> Sweet. What a run. I just want to go back a little bit. Uh, Tina's going to remember this. Uh, and I just I want to, I want to, first of all, I want to thank uh, Sergeant Callahan, USMC, who was my recruiter, <laughs> and uh, Dennis Fournier, he was my recruiter for the uh, Air Guard. So, one for those two, I wouldn't be here. So. But with uh, Sergeant Callahan, like I said, he was my recruiter. I just want to go back to right before I uh, left to the MEP station. It's the processing station for the military. Uh, he was supposed to pick me up, I don't know, it was Monday morning at like five o'clock. Tina was at my mom's house. She, she stood the night. Uh, so anyway, it's, you know, it's, we're up early about four o'clock, just kind of like, you know, antsy and stuff. Here I am going to Marine Corps boot camp, so I'm pretty nervous. Uh, so five o'clock comes. There's no knock on the door or anything. I'm like, shoot, maybe he forgot about me. <laughs> maybe I won't be going anywhere. <laughs> so 505, still no knock. And then about uh, 515, we hear that knock. I'm like, oh man, my life's about to change. So my mom, Tina, were both, uh, you know, took it really hard. But uh, I, I thank the Marine Corps. The Marine Corps was a great, great start for me. Uh, it was a good run, the Marine Corps. Bases I was at. Camp Pendleton, uh, Twin Eye Palms, uh, MWTC Warfare Training Center. Uh, so thank you to those recruiters. And I wanted to give a special thanks to, uh, where's Chief Moore at? There he is. <laughs> hey, thanks Chief. Uh, thanks for everything. You know what I've been through. You know, you know it's been tough between you and, uh, and uh, Chief Bartlett, you know, I wouldn't, I definitely wouldn't be here, you know. Uh, the Guard owes you a lot. I mean, you, you just, you take care of your troops, you and Chief Bartlett. I mean, you guys are phenomenal. Always have a co close place in your heart. I mean, thank you for coming out here from Arizona for me, Chief. Sure. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Uh, Chief Graham, I'd like to thank him. Uh, I was kind of in transition of jobs and he took care of me. You know, Guard takes care of their people. You know, if you put the effort in and they see it, they're going to take care of you. So thank you, Chief Graham. He's deployed. Thank you for the putting me in for that, uh, that nice award, Chief. I appreciate that. Major Green, same thing. You kind of know what I've been through in my life. Uh, some tough spots, but you always stood behind me. Uh, you're a man of integrity. I look, I look up to you. Uh, you know, it's just, I hate it when, you, when I did have that position that you gave me. I even hate to leave, but I felt bad to tell you guys. But. I had to move on, but like I said, thank you, you're a great commander. You take care of the troops, 
you complete the you can make sure the mission's going to be completed. Thank you, sir, and thank you for the kind words too. Appreciate it. Major Solberg, I don't know if he's here, but he's uh, I'd like to thank one of my former commanders. Uh, Senior Master Sergeant Jackson, thank you for uh, you know I only spent a short time with you, but uh, you're uh, like I'm telling everybody, and I can see you're a real big asset to calm. So, and thank you for the, the the flag and everything putting us all together. Like I said, uh, didn't really get to work with you too much. It's kind of in the transition of getting out and stuff. But thank you, and calm's a better place with you there. And once we get Chief back, be phenomenal place. Sergeant Gunn, thank you. Uh, you kind of put this all together, so really appreciate it. it means a lot. I won't forget it. And thanks to uh, Communication Flight, you guys are up here, and you guys are outstanding. Uh, I've been with the flight over 20 years, and this is probably about the best group that I've seen. A lot of young talent. Uh, just, just keep it up. Get your PME done. PME is the, the big kicker, you know, just like I said. Uh, keep a good attitude, it's a big thing, you know. I may not have been the smartest all the time or anything, but like Major said, you know, uh, I had a great attitude and didn't complain, so just do what they say and like I said, just try to keep improving yourself. I want to thank my uh, friends and family that uh, came, uh, Cy and Dolores. I've known Cy she, over 20 years. We met at the Marine Corps uh, Mountain Warfare Training Base. I always used to fix size computers. He had my direct line, Brian, my computer's broke, so here. I was sent, remember Steck? <laughs> I was sent took care of it. I was sent Steck down there, so I always took care of Cy. And after that, uh, uh, we just became close friends. There's a longer story to it, but uh, we, we became really close friends. We met after I got out of, uh, out of, out of the Marine Corps. Uh, I was a, de a deputy in Douglas County. And, we ended up meeting through a, a mutual friend, actually a relative of size. So thank you guys for showing up. Uh, Chelsea and Todd, thank you for showing up. And, and Matt, uh, I'm just gonna tell you two right now, you guys are like, like a son to me. Really appreciate it. I value you guys as friendship, but you guys are family. Uh, <clears throat> I wanna thank my son, he's you know, a role model to me. Whenever I have a, a tough time in life or need a shoulder to cry on or talk to, uh, he's you know he's always there. So proud of him, Reno cop. Proud of uh, Matt. He's a Douglas County deputy, and Chow, he's a Douglas County deputy, and Todd. Love you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, son, you're you know you keep me going. So thank you. Keep keep following your dream. I love you, and uh, I'm always there for you. And I want to thank my lovely wife, Tina. You know, it's, I'm not the easiest person to live with. We've been, we're gonna be going on 28 years this year of marriage, uh, June 14th. Uh, you know, she's put up with a lot. It's, it's hard on a wife when you're deployed overseas. And uh, I worked in the comm center, communication center, and it's uh, a, a lot of my, uh, a lot of my bases. It was a 24, 24 seven job, 365 days a week. So I was working weekends, I was working Graveyard swing shift, so I was not home with Brian or Tina a lot of the times, and it's it's stressful on a family. But you know what? I, I did that because I, I love you know I love the military and I love the United States. So and you know my wife always had her support. So and lastly, I would just like to thank my mom. She passed away. Uh, she, excuse me for getting a little sensitive, but she passed away in August uh, 2018. She lost the battle to ALS horrible disease but she always uh she's my biggest supporter it was just kind of funny and just you gotta guard you again i just want you to get out of the military right she's always worried about me deploying and you know get hurt but she's always give me a hard time but i know she's not here physically but she's here in spirit so i love you mom and love you and i just want to sorry i'm talking a lot, but I just want to go and uh, I have a very military oriented family and stuff and I just want to kind of uh, call out some uh, some of my family members that I followed in their footsteps. I had a, a grandpa, Arthur Francois, he was in World War II. Uh, he was on the uh, USS Elizabeth uh, in the Pacific during World War II. Then he also was in the Korean complex, so I thought, you know, he was a real big role model to me. 
Then my grandpa, Albert Sanchez, he uh, fought in Germany against the Germans in World War II. Uh, he received a Purple Heart. And uh, my Uncle Richard Moreno, he was in Vietnam. And my Uncle Alfred Pacheco, uh, he was in Desert Storm, so he's, he passed. Uh, and so did my two grandpas, my Uncle uh, Richard's still around. And I had several other uncles that I've gone forever that were in World War II, uh, in the Navy, Air Force, and other branches. So we're a very proud military family, <clears throat> love our country. In closing, I just want to you know, say it's been an honor to serve the military, serve the Marine Corps, and the Air Guard. I've had some great commanders, great leaders that mentored me, and you all know who you are. I've also worked with hundred, hundreds of agencies as far as law enforcement and military, and I'll tell you what, the Air Guard is the best. The Air Guard is the best. And I've worked with a lot of agencies and military uh, units. And I just want to close and just say, you know what? God bless America and God bless our military. Thank you everyone for showing up. Thank you everyone, appreciate it. Matt Sergeant Sanchez. The men and women of the United States Air Force and the International Guard are proud to have served with you. Your knowledge, wisdom, dedication, and friendship will be sorely missed by all. We wish you as we wish you well as you begin the new chapter in your life. Please join us in the Air Force song and then congratulating Master Sergeant Sanchez and his family.